All right, guys. Um, I was asked to do a little bit of a bone video. Um, going to do this really simple. Um, the big thing with bones is, of course, you guys should know this. Um, never create anything in the perspective or anything but front, top, left, right. Okay. Um, the first thing that you want to do is uh, always keep your bones scaled to the way you need them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do. Um, a real simple uh, bone setup here. Um, you always want to go downward away from the hips. Okay, so for this particular one, uh, I'm just going down straight, and then with the spine, uh, we're just going to go up like so. And then the head, and I always do one forward like that, and then uh, the arms are pretty much a back bend like this, and like so on. Now, you can go crazy with the fingers and all that stuff, but I'm going to just show you the basics, okay? Um, so the, the, the initial part, get off my bones here, the initial part is that I'm going to um, clone the, the base here, and say okay, and then we'll do these here, and this here, and I'm just going to move this upward to be about there. And you know what? I did this in the wrong. wrong. No, that's... Uh, yes, I did it completely wrong. Alright, so we're just going to rotate this here. Alright. So, doesn't matter from what viewport and then you're going to use the bone tools under animation to mirror we're just going to mirror that and we're going to mirror it in the y-axis say ok and then I'm just going to hand move this a little bit over ok so this is pretty much what we have for character. In fact, I think I screwed this up a little bit, so we're just going to move this one up like so. And then we're going to grab these two and center it. Alright, so if this is my rig, I don't know, flying gorilla or something like that. Um, the first thing that you want to do, especially for gaming, is that you're going to always kind of create these these helper nodes, okay? Um, and the reason I use dummies, in per se, is that uh, with dummies, they don't show up when you export a game engine. Okay, so I'm just going to create one small one here, and i got to line this up a little bit here. So let's move this one back. Yeah, that's good. All right, so with dummies, is the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a base. Do that. We're going to go up here, create a base. Uh, all right, so this particular one, we're going to move here. This is my base. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dummy node down here for the foot, because I'm going to only do one at a time. And then I'm going to go up here and create a dummy node for wherever the hand is going to be, and then I'm going to create another dummy back here for the elbow, and back here for the knee, and I'm only going to do half at a time, so um, I'll show you this. Alright, so the key point in creating all this stuff is that you always want to create this stuff um, to start with, right? So with this particular one, um, you always want to uh, first have everything linked because if you link it and then put the high K chains in it, it tends to go awry, uh, just completely awry. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to basically link. And remember, child to parent, parent to child. And if you always have, have trouble with this and you never can remember which goes the where, you can always use the uh, 
you can always use the schematic view here and link everything accordingly. Okay, so this is my base right here, and basically I'm going to link from here to here. And if you notice this, it it drops it to the second frame. Now I didn't go through and name all the bones, which is a must. You guys must name all the bones because it really makes life easier. Okay, and then I'm going to go here and add this one to this. All right, so and I'm going to go here and add this to here. So basically, there's my initial initial setup here. And then I'm going to just go in and add it to this geometry like that and that geometry like so. Okay, so that, for the most part, is my, my IK setup. All right, and then from there, you want to add in, um, pretty much you just want to add in your IK chains. Um, the easiest way to do that is go to select the bone you want to IK. I'm going to just go off my my uh, link here, go to IK, go to IK Salver, and for IK Limb, pretty much go right there. And that's going to create an IK chain for the knee. All right, you do the same thing from elbow to, to wrist and so on and so forth. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make it easier, you basically align this with this. And what we're going to do is we're going to align the X, Y, and Z position to centers. And we're not going to change the align axis. So there we go. And then basically link child to parent. So basically we're going to click this one and scroll back over here and link this to this. So now every time I move, oops. There we go. Every time I move this, my foot goes with it. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Now, um, there's a couple things that you want to do. Is the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up here and say okay. Um, this is my going to be my knee helper, um, and then I select my IK joint. Um, I'm going to scroll down to pick the target. This is going to accept this one right here. So now what's going to happen is that anytime I move this, my knee turns left and right. Okay, so that's good there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this bone right here, and I'm going to IK this bone. Another IK limb solver is fine, and we're going to IK this bone to this one right here. Now, here's where it gets kind of funky. Okay, um, <clears throat> what you're going to do is we're going to zoom up in here. What you're going to do is... Uh, uh, align this to this one here, like so. Say OK. And then we're going to child and parent this. So child to parent. All right. And then we're going to parent this IK to this one. All right. And now this is a really simple rig. It's very simple. Um, I use it a lot in just basic, simple animations. Um, but the reason I do that is because I have this one, and I move this, and the foot moves up with it. Yay! And then the nice thing is I can always go look at the foot, all right? So I can move that up and down, rotate that accordingly, and I can even rotate left and right. And then if I want, I can have a little bit of control over the foot as well. All right? So that's pretty much the basic simple of IK development. Um, they do, it does go a lot more advanced than what we just did here. Um, and the reason I am not getting super crazy with this is because I'm just doing an intro. Um, you know, nothing nothing spectacular. Um, I mean, this is something right now that I can move. Um, you know, I, I would move this. I would put a, a helper nodes and link all these helper nodes to the ma main helper nodes so that if I want to move the entire character along, I can move just the helper node. But for the basics, for just a simple, you know, 10 minute intro, this is pretty much all you guys need to get started. Okay, um, it works the same thing for the hands and the, uh, or for the hands and the fingers, except you can get a lot more advanced with the wrists and such. But that's a basic helper for that. All right.